know if I, uh, I don't think I uploaded my mail call video yesterday that I took on my phone because I left this camera here at the shop on the charger. Uh, got some goodies from my buddy Mike McKay. Got myself a nice uh, blue Mako t-shirt, which I'll proudly display for you, buddy. Um, you know, Mako's got a, a name that a lot of people uh, associate with uh, low quality work, but man, I tell you what, that shop does some kick-ass work because they got a good painter. So, that all being said, thanks buddy, thumbs up, I like this kind. We're working on this equipment trailer here. I, I've done a million videos on it and haven't done anything, so you guys are probably like, get your ass in gear and finish it. Well, that's what I'm fixing to do. Uh, basically, I gotta work on my uh, inner wheel wells a little bit. Um, this trailer has been uh, acid treated, I sandblasted, uh, lately, I got some gunk on it from where I drug the hose over it, sandblasting the other day. Uh, it was 50 degrees out on Saturday, so that's what I got done. Uh, most of the rust was up on these rails, and then I just lightly stood back and blasted the whole trailer to etch it, and I still went around it just to make sure I could get what I could get with the scotch pad. Um, this is probably not the best way. The best way would be to take all the lumber off of it and strip it. But that is not what this job is gonna get because that is not what is in the budget for this job. That's number one. Uh, number two, we're out of time. And uh, this is not a high dollar job. This is a get it looking nice, make it look better for about five years or so kind of job. It's gonna get beat up sandblasted with rocks off the tires of the truck, things like that. But it was just looking pretty grungy. And then he's gonna go up underneath and oil spray the whole trailers. Uh, I've got a second one to do, it's a little smaller, but um, I still have another one to do and it's the first week of March. We go back to work in like three weeks. So, uh, that's what's getting done there. Um, another thing that I'm working on uh, I, I keep telling you guys I'm working on a new camera. Well, I think I might be able to get one here, knock on wood. Um, I've got some funds set aside for it, and I've got a couple I've looked at used. Uh, I'm looking to get a wide angle filter set up and an external mic set up so that I don't have to stand 20 feet away from the camera to be in the view of the camera um, using the Kodak Place port and the audio in the truck is awful. Tons of guys hate it. Uh, whatever. We're going to keep this camera for the quick and easy, and we're going to get the other one for the uh, how I do or how to videos, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to keep going over this trailer. I've got a couple things left to do on this gate that I sort of told him I would do. Um, got some expanded metal that's broken there. I'm gonna tack that back on so we don't get any punctured tires from it. Nothing huge. Um, and then I just gotta kind of go over this gate where I can get into little places like that down there. Um, I will release the gate and let it lean against the wall back here with a towel or a piece of wood behind it or something so it can't fall. Um, I've got the trailer on cinder blocks with wood cribbing underneath it in various places, but that's kind of the idea. Um, and we're not painting the underside of the trailer. We're just going around the edges. This is for looks. This is not for longevity. Um, what the hell else was I gonna tell you guys? Oh, so you heard me uh, talking about these mirrors here while well, I got the other one in. Uh, this is a left-hand side one that broke as soon as I tried to put it on. Now, I'm not knocking the company. The price was right. And uh, they sent me two more, no questions asked. With the second one they sent, they sent out a return uh, slip with it so I could send it back. So I got some stuff sitting here on the bench. This is going to be for tomorrow's project. This is just stuff that's got to go home. Um, I got to grab my etch primer and some other things, but we're going to put some etch down and then we're going to throw some of this kind. Um, I've had issues with this primer. I've tried everything I know and the only thing it comes down to for me is uh, my shop temperatures. Um, this is pretty aggressive stuff. It's 
a direct to metal for things smaller than your hand. Um, but this is an equipment trailer. We're going to shoot some etch on that bare metal. Um, you know, things like this that are sandblasted bare metal uh, that were kind of pitted up. Those are going to get the etch. Uh, the little stuff is going to get some 2K. I'm going to show you those mirrors I put on the truck. Hope you guys aren't afraid of the dark. We're, hold on a minute. You're going to stare at the ceiling for a second. There we go. So it's like 15 degrees out. And there's those mirrors. The field of vision on those things is just fabulous. Uh, one thing I can bitch about so far that I don't like about them, I don't know if you guys can see it, um, you can kind of see the wires in the back of them. They're, they should have like a wire loom or a something around that that looks kind of cheesy as shit but um they're pretty badass as far as your field of vision using them and they're telescoping uh one thing i noticed they sort of angle up sort of that way but i passed a few other trucks that had these factory uh ones that are this style and they also angle up on the chevys never knew that so <sighs> They're very stiff. So that's where I'm at with that. Got those on there. Got both sides. Of course, I had the passenger side one on, but the driver one broke. Got our big Mickey Mouse ears on her now. Oh yeah, this thing fired right up this morning. Not plugged in, 10 degrees. It was uh, negative 10 last night. Uh, also, get back in the shop here wrap this one up it's getting to be about eight minutes here also I wanted to thank uh, everybody who saw my uh, channel trailer that I put up um, only thing I'm worried about with it the music I put on it was from iMovie I'm afraid to monetize it uh, when I put it on my videos because I'm afraid it's going to get hit. Now I know you can get the free music from YouTube but I can't figure out how to get it into iMovie. So uh, I need to check on that and see what's what on it. I'm sure if you uh, give credit to them you'll be alright but I hate to get a strike against me for that so you know whatever. Um, maybe we'll have to uh, change the old music up. I know my buddy Greg Porter has something similar and he's using iMovie and he's giving me a couple tips here this morning but I want to get that ironed out so that I can use it every time. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Had too much uh, caffeine this morning. The review that I got from everybody was you know it, it looks great. It's kind of short but I wanted it short. I wanted it under 20 or 30 seconds and uh, we'll let her go from there. So hopefully the next video that I put up, this thing will have some damn paint on it. And then uh, we get some new uh, camera equipment here and hopefully we'll have some better video. So we'll catch you guys.